Hello and welcome back to into today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10, 14 days. For today's second video, so day 10 will take us to the 8th of June. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with Senator Affairs. He's set on subbles. Maybe around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets us into the second half of June. I'll get on back for you in a moment. Just say that first. Video sales. I sit in UK weather forecast. Please like, share, and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. Or both of today's videos and content. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. For Gals Weather Vids. Thank you so much, everyone. <coughs> so sorry, everyone. We'll be a video about a calf. Right, going to start off with latest wind blow map from EarthNoSchool.net. Showing that low pressure is dominating uh, the weather in the North Atlantic at the moment. Been a thoroughly wet morning across the north. Not much rain, though, down in the south. But it has been pretty windy and cloudy here in the towers. Central in temperature is sitting at 12.7, that's 1.6 degree above the 61 to 99 average, and that is provisional to the 27th of May. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're at Cardiff today. The red line is the 30 year upper air temperature actual for Cardiff. Starting off quite warm with the upper air temperatures at the moment. We are in an envelope of pretty warm air with these areas of low pressure. We're going to find the upper air temperatures coming down though as we move into the early part. Up next week, generally hovering around to somewhat below average through the first week of the month. And then seeing the upper air temperature starting to lift up as we go into the second week of June. Precipitation wise, going to be a lot of dry weather to come over the uh, next few days, but starting to turn more unsettled. As we move from, uh, well, through the first week of June. So, um, you know, there's going to be some wet weather to come next week. Further rain on the way, quite useful rain. Uh, that Perhaps a bit of a drying trend, though, as we look towards the middle part of June. Although, that said, it's a long way out. It's an extended range. Therefore, it's unreliable. Temperature anomalies for the next five days up to the 3rd of June above average, particularly so for England and Wales. 6 to 10 day looks like that. So cooling down actually in the north of the west, nearer normal elsewhere. A am in the 10 to 14 day, just a little bit above average precipitation anomalies for the next seven days to the 5th of June. Looks really wet for the north, so significantly wetter than average for western parts of Scotland and also northwest England. Much of Scotland and Northern Ireland coming out wetter than average. Well, you'll notice down in the south, the southeast still remains drier than normal uh, through there. And the 8 to 14 day looks like that. Still hints at being rather on the dry side for England and Wales. So not much of a drought buster down in the south. Well, let's start going through the chart data. We saw the latest UK Met Euro run. Looking for midnight on Sunday. Low pressure heading in from off the Atlantic. But a little transient risk before another low moves in around the middle part of next week. And that could bring quite a lot of heavy rain with it. Looking quite unsettled with the UK Met today. Icon again has low pressure pushing through over the weekend. And next week we're into a transient ridge before another low. And um, quite a deep low at that. Heads in around the middle part next week. That's a proper old dartboard there. 985 millibars. That will bring a lot of wet and windy weather in with it. Moving through into the second half next week, where we've got another low knocking on the door there to southwest. Icon is looking very unsettled then. And uh, then we've got the KMA looking like this. Once more, rather wet and windy through the earlier part of uh, next week. Middle of next week keeps the unsettled weather going. Another batch of wet and windy weather moving in towards the last stages of uh, next week. High pressure trying to build to our south and southeast there around day nine. Some warmth being pulled up from the south with that little ridge, but not set to last, I don't think. Overall, the KMA looking unsettled to the 10th of June as well. Right now, let's go for the GFS midnight run. So, again, we see it's rather wet and windy from Monday to Tuesday next week with that area of low. Then we're into cooler showering conditions into middle next week for another low 
Rocks are setting in later next week. That brings some thoroughly wet, windy weather in with it as well. That's next Saturday, 7th of June. Cool, showering. West northwesterly winds and keeping it pretty cool and showery up to day 10, 8th of June. After that, though, a bit of a change. High pressure starts to reach back in from the Azores through the second week of June. That begins to turn things drier and also warmer as winds shift around to the south with the southeast. So, second week of June looks a lot drier and warmer there from the GFS midnight run. But before that, we have a lot of unsettled weather to get through. And then we go on to Jeff Best 6 there by comparison. So once more wet and windy early next week. Cool and showery then uh, into second half next week. Another little second view low punching through there. Thursday to Friday bring more wet weather with it. Cool, showery, west northwest winds taking us up to uh, day 10. After that, into the second week of June, high pressure gradually eases its way back in from the west. So slowly settles down and would start to warm up under that area of high pressure, given the strength of the uh, late ju of the um, early June sunshine, I should say. So, uh, again, there's a definite trend here, definite shift, something drier or warmer, second week of June, with both the GFS operations today. If you're enjoying the video, please do like, share, subscribe. Make sure to open for DMA. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gareth Webber. Get them to subscribe to you. Thank you so much for doing that. GM, again, looks unsettled through the course of uh, the early part of next week. Rather wet and windy. The unsaid weather keeps going. Second half next week, another secondary low there around the last stage of next week. That becomes a major low uh, for the weekend. The percent from the 8th of June. Big old dartboard sitting across the country. Bouts of rain and at cool temperatures as well. Going to show you last night's ECM 12 zebra. This caused a lot of interest and a lot of, cha a lot of chatter. So unsettled relatively cool for much of next week. But a change around day 9 and 10. As a ridge builds northward. Shifts the wind around to a southerly. Check out the hot air sitting to our south. With that plus 20 cells iceberg. Surging northwards over the weekend of the 7th and the 8th of June, becoming really hot, certainly with the upper air temperatures anyway, before cooler, probably uh, more unsettled moves in for the Atlantic. Uh, I would have thought triggered, triggering uh, thunderstorms as they do so. Upper air temperatures come back down again, but a heat spike there on last night's East Ham 12 there. But what about the latest run, the midnight run? Well, again, we've got uh, low pressure dominating the weather through much of next week. Wet and windy bouts of rain heading in from the Atlantic through the first week of June. Again, though, trying to build a ridge uh, around day 10. Not quite as, as successfully so on this particular ECM run, but you'd like to get a plus 20 cells ice, but we surging to northern France and the low countries there by day 10. We just hold it off. We just fend it off and keep it on the other side of the content on this ECM run. We wouldn't take much of an adjustment to pull that very hot air up from the south. As it is so high pressure taking over with the ECM uh, midnight run into the second week of June, becoming mostly dry. And very warm there through the second week of June. That gets us to the 13th of, uh, of June there, Friday the 13th. This is a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tibet.com. Get rid of wet weather today. Then further bouts of uh, showers and long spells of rain heading in after that. Mainly dry then into the uh, early part of next week before wet weather comes back. Um, looks thoroughly wet later next week with lots of rain to come adding to some thunder there by day 10 as we've got that heat on the continent trying to push north was meeting the unstable cooler air producing potentially thunderstorms for England and Wales that's a long way off though these are the options on the table in the East um, Ensemble today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office gets us to the 8th of June 21 members of the East um, Ensemble looking unsettled at day 10 uh, with low pressure out in the Atlantic 10 with low pressure again out in the Atlantic, bring, bringing in a westerly flow. We've got eight here with high pressure just to our south and east, drawing up more of a southerly, maybe. That could bring some hotter air up from the south. We've got seven with low pressure in the Atlantic, keeping the wind from the west. And then we've got five with high pressure just to the east. Again, that could draw up some very hot air from the south. Is that if that plus 20 south iceberg starts surging northwards across uh, France. So, with five 
five and with eight. Potentially bring up some appreciable levels of heat for myself. Uh, that's a minority option. So the majority option looks relatively cooler and more unsettled at day 10. But there is a minority to turn it potentially very hot. Two weeks' time, uh, we look like that. This gets us to the 13th of June, of course. 19 moments of the ECM on some little low pressure just out to the west. So that keeps it uh, rather showery. We've got 19 building up a ridge of the south, probably turning uh, drier and warmer with that. And then we've got 13, clearly the charming operation run again, building a ridge to our south and east. So the 19 and the 13, put them together, majority option, probably building back high pressure, turning things drier and warmer through the second week of June. How hot it will get remains to be seen. CFS V2 finally, and then we're done, meets a 500 millibar height of this, they're broken down. Into week pairs, the first week pairs takes from the 29th of May to the 4th of June, but next week looks quite unsettled with low pressure heading in from off the Atlantic. Week two will be the uh, 5th through to the 11th of June, low pressure again to the northwest Scotland, looking quite flat and westerly with that one. Week three will be the 12th to the 18th of June. Higher pressure beginning to start building up from the south and west. That should turn things drier. And then week four rounds it all off. It's the 19th to the 25th of June. We're high and dry, then mostly dry and potentially warm or even very warm with that one. But it's into the second week of June, so for a base, we seem a long way off. Okay, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for showing up on 4G map. Why not drop a comment and let's say what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to turn friends back down so get them to subscribe to you. We're going to put on around 20 to 25 subscribers now to get ourselves to 19.8k. It could give us some. That'd be amazing. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, right, tomorrow, we've got 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. Jamie Friday, and there'll be a tape of 14 days as well. Please keep checking back to the channel for more. But this is what I'm asking for now. And thanks for watching.